Okej, okay, siemaneczko wam wszystkim ludzie, z tej strony Arturo, witam was na swoim kanale i zapraszam na kolejny odcineczek z Dreamfall Chopter. Eee, przed chwileczką wykonaliśmy sobie misję z poszukaniem zdrajcy, niestety nie udało nam się wskazać poprawnej osoby, ale mam nadzieję, że nie będzie to przynosiło żadnych konsekwencji w dalszej rozgrywce. Zobaczmy co my musimy zrobić teraz. Krycica, użyj mapy od Krycicy i odnajdź gońca Azadi. Dostawa broni, pozbądźcie dostawy w dokach przy południowej bramie. Myślę, że najpierw zajmiemy się gońcem Krycicy. Tylko gdzie my go znajdziemy? Miasto jest dość spore, więc... Hmm. Może na samym początku obejrzymy sobie mapę od Krycicy. Mamy tutaj drogę naszego posłańca. Jakbyśmy udali się w to miejsce, gdzie on ma postój. Może właśnie tam go znajdziemy. Ok, spróbujmy. Um, Unamy się tutaj na górę. Jak możecie sami zauważyć, mam nowy mikrofon. Jest to Samsung C01 Ubro. Póki co mikrofon mam położony na biurku na, takty, na takim malutkim statywie. W planach mam również zakup statywu radiowego, tak żeby mógł mieć mikrofon na wprost, żeby ta jakość była jeszcze lepsza. No ale wiadomo, to są wydatki. Wydatki, które póki co nie są na mojej kieszeni, ale w przyszłym miesiącu będę miał wypłatę, wiadomo. <śmiech> I wtedy sobie zakupię. Okej, okay. co tu jest? Aha, cel jest aktualizowany. Czyżby to był nasz posłaniec? Zwab gońca Azadi w ślepy zaułek. No dobra, to pobiegniemy za nim. Mam nadzieję, że nas nie zauważy. Goniec Azadi. Z tego co wiem, on jakiś list przenosi. Który będziemy musieli później zanieść do Krycicy. Ale najpierw musimy go zwabić w ślepy zaułek. Okej, okay, myślałem przez chwilę, że rozmawia ze strażnikami, ale jednak nie. Dokąd on biegnie? O, to jest pytanie. <śmiech> Rozwalają mnie ci kolesie w tych czapkach. Okej, okay, dobra, muszę troszeczkę zwolnić. Nie chcę zostać przez niego zauważonym, bo pewnie misję będę musiał powtarzać. Ok, dobra, posłaniec pobiegł w lewo, coś czuję, że będziemy musieli pokombinować przy tych tabliczkach, znak uliczny. It says watchers court. Mhm, możemy go zabrać. Plac strażników. The sign reads Earthrin's Ascent. Aha, czyli wzniesienie jakieś tam i gość biegnie w tamtą stronę. A gdybyśmy zamienili te znaki stronami, wtedy gościu by pobiegł tam. Z tego co widzę, jest tam jakiś ślepy zaułek i nie miałby wyjścia. Dobra. Czyli to wskazuje w prawo. Dobra. Podmieńmy znaki. Mamy tutaj jakąś animację. Posłaniec biegnie znowu. Dobra, schowajmy się może gdzieś tutaj za mapą. Żeby nas nie zauważył. To jest goniec za zadzi. Czemu ja mówię posłaniec? Ale myślę, że jedno i drugie to jest to samo. Wait, wasn't it left? Not right. Right don't sound right. But hey, signs never lie. Right it is. 
Zabierz list od gońca Azadi. Okej, okay, dobra, biegniemy za nim. This down low right. Wow! Gość się został zabity. Goddess. A krycica obiecała nam, że nic gońcowi się nie stanie. Nie dotrzymała słowa. Co prawda mamy tutaj list. Ale młody człowiek zginął. What a terrible waste. The mole will need to answer for this boy's death. Zanieś krecicy zapieczętowany list Azadi. No właśnie. Krecica powinna odpowiedzieć za to, za swoje czyny, za to, że nie dotrzymała słowa. Młody człowiek przez nią zginął. Hmm. Tylko teraz jest pytanie, czy my musimy tu jakieś zareagować i, nie wiem, wymierzyć sprawiedliwość krycicy, czy jednak nie? Wiadomo, mieliśmy wykonywać wszystko, co nam powie krycica. Tu zależą od tego losy ruchu oporu. Yy, hmm. No właśnie. Who's there? Pewnie gdybym był niezależną osobą, to wymierzyłbym ją z jej sprawiedliwość, nie wiem, zabiłbym ją, cokolwiek. Ale z racji tego, że wykonujemy tutaj misję dla ruchu oporu, to nie jestem do końca przekonany, czy taki wybór byłby prawidłowy. Wchodzimy do piwnicy, która wygląda jak stara winiarnia. Ogólnie fajna knajpa by tu się znajdowała. Hehe, <śmiech> taki pub, gdzie można przyjść sobie na piwko. Ale dobra, my do krycicy. The Azadi return to get proverbial back scratched. Ostrożnie, agresywnie, dociekliwie. There's no need to antagonize the mole. If I want her to give us weapons, I must play by her rules, no matter how deceptive she may be. And my mission was to get the weapons, not to spare a runner's life. The mole deceived me. She said the runner would be unharmed, and yet they killed him. I can see no reason for his murder other than vengeance and cruelty. How can I trust someone like that? I can't let this lie pass, or I will appear weak. He was just a boy. He'd harmed no one. Does she hate the Azadi so much that she's been completely blinded? Okay, mamy tutaj trzy opcje do wyboru. Ostrożnie, agresywnie, dociekliwie. I zastanawiam się, którą opcję tutaj wybrać. Ja bym osobiście wybrał agresywnie, ale czy byłoby to rozsądne? Może po prostu weźmiemy sobie dociekliwie. Why did you have the runner killed? Good question. Why did Azadi see the need to kill Banda children? Because one day they think Banda children grow to be Banda women and men, and then they come for Azadi. Better make sure this never happen. Continue zmień temat. If she has something on her mind, I should let her speak. Okay, dobra. One death cannot compensate for another. This is true, Azadi. Retribution may be counterproductive. But your people must also be made to suffer for their crime. They need to see the consequence of their action. They need to feel pain. And that man, that boy, he was in wrong place at wrong time. He's safer this way. He cannot run back and tell on us, or on you. You talk about making my people suffer. But my people know nothing of what has transpired here in the Northlands. You can't lay this at the feet of all Azadi. How do I make them see? How do I make them understand our loss? The Banda Banta are no more because of Azadi. I can gnash teeth and sharpen claw for many moon. It will not change truth. Your people will never mourn mine. But if I take life, 
Make mother suffer the loss of child. Make friend miss friend, husband miss wife. Maybe then someone will think of mine. Maybe then someone will remember our loss. I'm not sure that's how it works. Perhaps not, Kian of the Azadi. But one can always hope. I may not honour that part of the arrangement, but I will honour most important part. Your resistance will get weapon. All the weapon I have to give. I still need some for my men. Sharpest sword, swiftest axe, strongest bow. But the rest go to your people. Not your people, Azadi. Your people rebel movement, otherwise would be silly. Of course. Thank you. My men will be in touch with your women, and also men. Leave now, Azadi. It's dark and late, and I will sleep. Sleep and dream of happier day in Burrow to the north, where laughter of children fill every tunnel. Dream of friend and of family, while I mourn them all. Ok, najważniejsze, że misję mamy wykonaną. Ok, zaktualizowane, dobra. Następna misja, dostawa broni, pozwoń się dostawy w dokach przy południowej bramie. Hmm, wyjdźmy sobie na zewnątrz, przyjrzyjmy się mapie, która znajduje się tutaj niedaleko. Będziemy wiedzieli, gdzie znajdują się właśnie te doki. Mapa znajduje się tutaj. Dobra, podejdźmy do niej. Aha, mamy tutaj port. Port znajduje się... Musimy iść na sterówkę, udać się w prawo i tam będzie port. Ok. Nie ma problemu. Starówka jest niedaleko, tak więc do portu też pewnie jest niedaleko. Musimy udać się teraz w prawo. Mm. Domyślam się właśnie, że tędy. I tu po prawej stronie powinien znajdować się port. Czy to jest już tu? Nie. Kolejna brama ze strażnikami. After my shift's over. I think I'll head down to that cheap tavern by the arbor. Oh, what's it called again? I tutaj pewnie znajdują się właśnie te doki, do których musimy się udać. Pozwól cię dostawę w dokach przy południowej bramie. Okej, południowa brama pewnie znajduje się tam z przodu. Widać dwóch strażników. Jeden idzie w naszą stronę, tak więc myślę, że warto się skować. Przy okazji może rozejrzymy się, co jest tutaj. Mamy kunie. Jakieś skrzynie. According to the labeling on this crate, it contains flintlock part. Jakieś części broni. The construction of the tube network appears to be picking up pace. There are wagon loads of metal pipes everywhere, and the laborers work into the night. Czy strażnik jeszcze gdzieś tu jest, czy on już sobie poszedł? Nie chciałbym wpaść w jego ręce. Ale może się rozejrzymy jeszcze po drugiej stronie. The fire and oil. They hunt the great beasts for this precious fluid. It's used as illuminant and for lubrication. Okay, mamy tutaj olej. Steel nails, imported from Western Azadir, I reckon. They're used to mount the pipes around the city. Mamy też stalowe gwoździe. Domyślam się, że strażnik już sobie poszedł tak więc. Aha, właśnie idzie. Czarny proch. There's black powder in this barrel. They use it for the muskets and cannons. It's a powerful explosive and propel. A handful should suffice. Okay, mamy czarny prog. Udamy się jeszcze tutaj na lewą stronę na ten pomost. 
Interesuje mnie to, co znajduje się tutaj. It's a sturdy rope, probably soaked through with brine. Mamy również linę. O kurde, chyba strażnik idzie w naszą stronę. może się gdzieś schowamy. Go on, get out of here! Ej! I nas złapał. Na szczęście przedmioty, które zebraliśmy sobie przed chwilą, znajdują się w naszym ekwipunku. Nie straciliśmy ich. Tak więc jest dobrze. Dobra, podejdźmy sobie jeszcze raz tutaj. Gdzie były te gwoździe? Steel nails. Imported from West. A nail. Fresh from the steel mills. This might be of use to me. Mamy gwóźdź. Aha. Mamy olej. Okej, okay, dobra. Poczekajcie. Weźmy sobie linę i namoczmy ją w oleju. The rope soaked through with oil. It should work as a burning fuse now. Mamy ląd. I gdzieś tu jeszcze się coś znajdowało. Chyba właśnie tutaj w tych skrzynkach. Flintlock parts for the muskets. Flint pieces for the flintlock muskets. Mamy krzemień. Myślę, że to wystarczy, aby przeprowadzić mały sabotaż. <śmiech> Tylko nie chciałbym znowu trafić na strażnika. Skoro nie ma go przy bramie, więc pewnie poszedł gdzieś na prawo. Eee... Tam chyba stoi. Okej, okay, dobra, wraca się. Tak więc schowamy się za bramę. Poczekamy aż przejdzie, uda się na lewą stronę, wtedy będziemy działać. Tam są prochy, więc domyślam się, że musimy wysadzić te prochy. Miały być fajerwerki, to będą fajerwerki. Ciekawe, co to jest za wieża. <śmiech> może wieża Babel prowadzi do nieba. Dobra, strażnik przeszedł, tak więc wychodzimy, podchodzimy do skrzynek, które znajdują się tutaj. Umieść przedmiot. Yy, czarny proch. Yy, lina. Dobra, mamy ląd. Myślę, że warto by było go przytwierdzić gwoździem. I czas rozpocząć akcję. Ok, chowamy się, nie chcemy być zauważeni. No i mamy fajerwerki. Chodź do Sylwestra jeszcze trzy miesiące, no to już tutaj coś się dzieje. Cele zaktualizowane, spotkaj się z Enu i Linko w Kogucie i Kociaku. Gdzie jest Kogut i Kociak? O to jest pytanie, czy jest tu jakaś mapka? Jest. Mapa Markuri. Kogut i Kociak ma oznaczenie, aha. A, czyli jesteśmy całkiem niedaleko. Musimy iść na górę. Mmm, domyślam się, że właśnie tędy. Jakieś gwiazdy na tych flagach. The rooster and kitten. Ulfik, the barkeep, is friendly with the resistance. No dobra, dotarliśmy do kogocika i kociaka. Jest to jakiś pub. Wejdziemy sobie do środka i zobaczymy, co tam znajdziemy. Spotkaj się z Enu i Linko. Tylko gdzie oni są? Tam nie. Oberżysta. What can I get you, my good man? Co mogę ci podać, szanowny gościu? Nic, woda, wino. I have little faith in the quality of the water in this place, but I can at least hold a cup and pretend to be drinking stronger stuff. Goddess knows I'm not a drinking man. What does one order to blend properly in with the patrons of this filthy hive? I'm not here to drink, and I have no use for alcohol. It clouds the mind, confuses the heart, and taints the soul. Bardzo dobra myśl, tak więc wyś my nic. I'm not here. I do not drink. Well, you'll attract attention standing there without a mug. 
Nobody trusts a man who has no taste for a beer. Here's your merry menstrum. Mommy Pivo. Your friend. She's upstairs. Friend? Yes. Your friend. She's been waiting. You don't want to keep a woman waiting for too long. Mamy piwo, niestety na picie, nie możemy, a szkoda. Czeka na górze na nas przyjaciółka. My mamy się tu spotkać z Enu i Linko. Domyślam się, że będzie to Enu. Um. I should be getting home. Just one more, one more for the road. A bit of Dolmari courage to help me get started. And then I'll head home. Czyżby to była ta kobieta, nieznajoma? A miałem się tu spotkać z kimś innym. Ah, oh, finally. There you are. Sit. Please. I saved your seat. Sit down. Ładna dziewczyna. Rudo włosa, chociaż nie ma wyrny spojrzenia. You look quite ridiculous standing there. Smile. We're old friends, remember? I don't remember that at all. Who are you? I'll tell you who I'm not. I'm not with the resistance and I'm not Azadi. If you're not with the resistance and you're not Azadi, who are you working for? I'm working for me, and I can either make your life easier or a lot worse. Hmm. Cóż to za kobieta? Pomyłka, groźba, ciekawość. This must be a mistake. The publican was clearly confused. This woman is not looking for me. She claims to be my friend and then she threatens me. Not the best way to begin a conversation. Who in Shadow's name is this woman? If she's looking for me, I need to know why. I will have your name. You will have my name. So forceful. So like a caged animal. You're a popular man, Kinovani. Apostle. Everyone wants a piece of you. I hear there's even a bounty on your head. I'm afraid you've left me at a disadvantage. I'll even the battlefield. I have as many names as I have friends and enemies. Some call me Anna. What do you want from me, Anna? I like the emphasis. You're a clever boy. I want your assistance, but not right now. You're meeting someone. I'd hate to get in the way. How did you... I just wanted a chance to introduce myself, and now I have. So it's time to leave. Let me up sometime. You can find me at this table most evenings. If not, Olvik can pass a message. Big man behind the bar. Wears an apron with a cock, a rooster, and a kitten on it. Can't miss him. Be seeing you, friend. Wait. How did you see through my veil? What? You shouldn't be able to recognize me on sight, unless you know me intimately. I don't know what you're talking about. Be seeing you, Alvane. A to ciekawe. Skoro ona mogła przejrzeć przez całą, to być może jest na mnie jakoś spokrewniona. Tylko nie mam zielonego pojęcia, kim jest ta kobieta. Dobra, widzieliśmy, że przyszli nasi przyjaciele, tak więc zejdźmy sobie na dół. Podejdźmy do nich i porozmawiajmy z nimi. Uh-huh. Did you see a mystery woman? No. God, you need to get out more. Is this place safe for the two of you? What? Oh, you mean this. The face. The fur. This is a safe place. But Azadi drink here. Ulvik keeps it all under control. Also, magicals are still allowed passage in the city as long as they have valid passes and carry no weapons. Visibly. You have passes? Sure do. But we it's... shouldn't push our luck. It's time to go. Yeah, that. Come on, Kian. You passed Liko's test. You're okay. We'll head back to HQ. Test? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, um, Liko? I told you I would not trust you. And now you do? No. I merely distrust you a little less. But you did well. I won't kill you. Yet. That's him being real friendly, you know. Hugs? No? Yeah, me neither. Okay, we really need to go. Come on. <laughs> Fajna ta gościówka. Enu. 
Więc za, za Enu i Liko do cieni z tej przystani. Okej. Okay. Tak więc wychodzimy na zewnątrz i udamy się do cieni z tej przystani. Gdzie to jest? Nie mam zielonego pojęcia. Ale pewnie stamtąd odpłyniemy sobie łódką. Ponieważ wszystkie misje już tutaj wykonaliśmy. So what did your mystery woman look like? She had long auburn hair and light freckled skin. She dressed like a ranger. Of course she did. Your type, huh? I don't really have a a type. Really? Guy like you, I thought you'd be super choosy. I'm not a god. I've not had much time for for women in my life. Leaping leapers, are you joking? How old are you? Look at you, you're gorgeous. <laughs> How did that come out of my mouth? <laughs> Leaping leap furs? Nope, just nope. <laughs> you do like women though, right? Shadow take me. Not that there's anything wrong with, you know. In fact, I could have That's set quite you enough. up with. <laughs> I don't know, this just happens. It's a sickness. I open my mouth and. <laughs> blah! It's really disturbing. <laughs> Ewidentnie, ona nas podrywa. Parsis, what are you doing out so late? Drinking. Dancing. Just drinking. Next time, go drinking inside the wall. We don't need your kind at our bars. <clears throat> no, uh, you're absolutely right. You really, really don't. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing. Right then and there, it felt like an appropriate answer. Tell me again about this test. I expected you to run straight to your mistresses, Alvani. You may be of some use to us for a while. I will still kill you. Nothing you can do will ever repay your debt to my family and people. Cheerful. Debt? Never you mind, Zidling. This is between the Apostle and myself. Zidling. Really? Really? You know I'm not actually a Zidling, right, Glumbum? I'm of age and I've already been with several that men... That mouth thing again, Zidling. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Where is everyone? In bed, I guess. It is late. He's right. It's never this empty. Something's wrong. We should hurry. Wow, czyżby to była jakaś pułapka? We need to keep moving. We don't know how many of them there are. Złapaliśmy strzałek, ktoś do nas strzelał. Good catch, Kian. That was a good catch, wasn't it, Liko? He survived. It was acceptable. <laughs> uh, he's totally warming up to you. Przeżył, może być. The gods of old, our boat is still here. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. Fine, I'll go first. <laughs> I laughed. On the inside. <laughs> you would have exploded. I don't think your body can handle laughter, Liko. Okej, okay, dobra, opuszczamy Markurię. Weź udział w odprawie, zaktualizowane. A dobra, wróciliśmy do domu, że tak powiem. Udajemy się teraz na górę. I'm glad you're all back safely. How did it go? Kian was awesome. He even saved our lives. I would have caught the arrow. Yeah, I know, but Kian did, and it was awesome. Any news of the informer? Alvani did. We brought him here for questioning. Was that wise? He knows our location now. 
It won't be a problem for long. Maybe not for you, Liko, but it is a problem for me. We don't just execute our prisoners once we're done with them. How did the rest of your mission go? Alvani followed our instructions. He completed his task to our satisfaction. The end result was adequate. Hey, whoa. Don't get all mushy on us now, Liko. I'm glad to see that the three of you can work together. While you were away, we received some news. Bob, who can see? Right you are, ma'am. As most of you know, the first of the six has been due to arrive in Mercuria for weeks now. Well, she's arrived. Their cloud ship docked with the tower not an hour ago. And she ain't alone. But first is the Azadi's highest authority. Of course he won't travel alone. Aye, there's that, but I'm not talking about bodyguards or handmaidens or the like. No. She's got some real interesting company. One General Hami, alongside a Mother Utana. What did you say? Hami, General, Utana, Mother. Do you know them? I do. They're with the first of the six. So word has it. How do you know this? Do you have eyes inside the tower? Not inside, no. On the ground, here and there, close enough. Some tell secrets for money, or to protect their own secrets. Some are sympathetic to the Magicals. And some are unhappy with Saya and her lapdog Vamon. They run the city still. Word is, they're intimate. A sister and a soldier? That's a capital crime. Well, that, with Saya ruling the church and Vamon, the state here in Mercuria, there's not much anyone can do. If anyone can, it will be General Hami and Mother Utana. You know them well, then? You knew. You knew they were coming, and you knew my history with them. That's why you freed me from... Naane! Finally! What news from Miria? Liko, Shepard, the rebuilding progresses and... Alvani, you are on your feet again. Wciśnij F, by dowiedzieć się więcej o tej postaci. No dobra. Nani to mistrzyni rasy. Zidmari, która towarzyszy ruchowi oporu już od kilku lat. Pochodzi z Irhadu, gdzie służyła na dworze w różanych ogrodach. Rok temu Nani zdradziła apostołowi Azadi, Kianowi Alvein, położenie osady na bagnach stanowiącej bazę rebeliantów w Myrii. Wszystko po to, by ocalić transport pożywienia i leków dla magiczniaków w Markurii. W rezultacie Azadi zdołali odnaleźć i zamordować przywódczynię rebeliantów, April Ryan, co nieomal zdusiło ruch oporu. Uwięzili także Kiana w twierdzy zakonej, skazując go na śmierć. Okej, okay, dobra, to ta gościówka jest odpowiedzialna za śmierć, April Ryan, i za to, że zostaliśmy skazani na śmierć, tak więc myślę, że możemy ją zdemaskować. This witch betrayed you all. She is responsible for the attack on the Swamp City. And for April Ryan's death. What? What are you talking about? I arrested her last year. She betrayed you to save her own skin. She gave me the location of the Swamp City, and she lured April there. It is because of this witch that April Ryan died. You're lying, Azadi. He is not. Forgive me, Liko. Liko, stop! Please. Put your knife down. Do not harm her. Kian should be the one to kill her. He turned her, and he turned on her. Let him prove his allegiance now. Go on, Alvani. Do what you do best. No, dobra. Mamy tutaj trzy opcje do wyboru. Pozwól byli ko ją zabił, zabił ją, oszczędził, oszczędził. She betrayed her friends and allies. She deserves death. But it won't be by my hand. If Liko wants her dead, he must cut her throat on his own. I want no part in her murder. 
even if it makes me weak in his eyes. I must do what he asks. I need his trust and confidence. The future of the Resistance depends on it. This will prove my loyalty. And she's nothing but a treacherous witch. She'd sell us out again in an instant, given the opportunity. I can't kill her. And I can't let him kill her. Even though that will shame him in front of the others. She betrayed her allies. But she had her reasons. Okay, ja nic nie wybierałem. Not by my hand, Liko. If not by yours, then by mine, craven fool. Wow! Ja naprawdę nie wybierałem żadnej opcji. Ta opcja się wybrała sama. Nami. Fuck. Oh fuck, what have you done, Liko? What needed to be done? What we do to traitors. May the great herd embrace her spirit. Someone please bring Naani to her chambers. Wash her body, wrap her in linen. I'll sit with her until first light. And then we... then we bury her. Why, Liko? Why would you do such a thing? Because Kian would not. And because she is just as responsible as he is for April's death. It's her blood on my hands. If you have a problem with that, Shepard, come see me. I just can't believe... Naane. We were friends. She braided my hair and... Also, you know, all the other stuff and... And... And Liko? He frightens me, Shepard. He has so much anger and hatred in him, I didn't even recognize him. I swear I'm never gonna trust anyone ever again. That's not true, Ainu. No, I know, you're right. I'm still going to trust everyone, but... Naane? And Liko? This really sucks. I... I think there's nothing more to discuss tonight. Hmm... I should have done something. I should have intervened. We all should have. Liko is... There's so much anger and pain in him since April's passing. Were they...? At some point. But it went deeper than that. When they parted, Liko continued to care for her in other ways. I believe for him, the relationship was a way to get closer to her. He loved April with all his heart. Her death broke him. <sighs> it's a tragedy. All of it. Did you want something, Kian? I'm not sure if this is the right time, Shepard. General Hami and Mother Utana. You knew they were coming. Liko was right. You're using me. All those words about being a symbol, about being important to the Resistance. Does the one exclude the other? You are a symbol. You are a warrior. And now, you're a rebel. I knew they were coming. Utala and Hami. And I knew from our spies in Sardia that you were bound to them both. We saw an opportunity, and we sent Barkin to free you. You can see that we're desperate, Kian. Afraid, alone. Most humans have already given up, given in, become comfortable with this new world, with the Azadi. Many have forgotten about the Magicals, or chosen to forget. They carry on their lives, even if we cannot. We few are all that remains of the Resistance. If we lose, all is lost. Our lives, our hopes, our entire future, lost to darkness. I will do anything to save my people, make terrible sacrifices, tell lies, anything. Wouldn't you, Kian? So yes, you are a tool, and you are a symbol, our secret weapon, the key to our survival. It's been a long and tiring day, and there's still much I need to do. We can continue our conversation another day.
The first is on her way. Has she mentioned him? I don't think so. You do know she's brought General Harmy and that mother with her. Utana, it means nothing. The General was due back in the Northlands. What about the mother? She's rumored to be next in line for the seat. She wants to be involved. She was also the bleeding heart who practically raised Salvani. She sponsored his whole education. Light. She could be a problem, but what can we do? We make sure none of them know Kian is alive and with the Resistance. Mistress, your presence here honors us. Sister Sire, this is an impressive edifice. It appears your work here has borne fruit. We believe so, Mistress. We welcome you to Mercuria and the Northlands. Anything you need, you let me know. Mother, I'm pleased to see you as well. To have the both of you here is a great honor. Quite. The Seat wants to know how the mission goes, how the Northlanders are handling the transition, and how many of them have chosen to embrace the light of the Goddess. We will speak of this, and much more. For now, we have prepared dinner for all of you. I hope you will join me. Right. Well, I am starving. The food on those cloud ships... General, I did not expect to see you back so soon. Neither did I. What's this I hear about Kian? Yes, what of the Apostle? It pains me to inform you that Alvane died in a riot. He was detained under penalty of death until your visit, Mistress. Unfortunately, the rebels snuck their agents into the prison. They cut him down and burned his body. Goddess guide his immortal soul to the First Mountain. With every respect to you and your seat, Mother, Alvani was a traitor. He betrayed the cause and he- May I remind you, sister, that the Apostle was never relieved of his title and should be addressed properly? And may I also remind you that without a proper trial and judgment by the first of the six, his so-called treason remains an accusation and nothing more. Now that he's no longer with us, we may never know the truth. But our people will not be told that the Apostle was a traitor. Mother. How did you say he died, Commander? Uh, stabbed. During a riot, they burned his body, hopefully after he'd bled out. We weren't able to retake the prison until the next morning. I will need to see the keep for myself, Commander, and interview the guards and prisoners. Certainly. I shall make arrangements for you to visit in a couple of days. Don't bother, Vamon. I'll go there tomorrow. You don't have to trouble yourself. I'm sure you have better things to do. As you wish, Mir. How is the engine progressing? The engineers are working day and night to connect the tubes. We expect to be able to switch it on according to schedule. Good. I have brought the final instructions from Sadir. The architect will send any remaining modifications by cloud ship. And when the Prophet returns, he will inspect the engine before we switch it on. Have you not spoken with him? Not for many months. But he will be here when our goddess-given task is complete. Only he will know how to bring it to life and to interpret the messages from the engine. Of course. Please, will the two of you accompany me to the dinner table? I'm sure the kitchen is worried the food will turn cold before we are seated. General. Commander. Until tomorrow, sister. Mother. My lady. Vamon, if you'll dine with me in my quarters? Of course, Mia. Tell me again what happened at the keep. Okej, okay, moi drodzy, w tym miejscu zakończymy sobie ten odcinek. Mam nadzieję, że Wam się podobało. Dzięki wielkie za uwagę. Trzymajcie się, piona!